If you really think that these are protecting you against all the EMF exposure, you're falling for yet again another snake oil celebrity scam. Okay, this was stupid. Like, I actually used these. This was idiotic for me to, to get rid of this. They're expensive. I don't want to throw it in my grass. My dog's going to eat this. Okay. <sighs> all right, I got it. Whew. Let me go ahead and uh, continue this by saying I am no expert by any means. You've probably heard a lot of other creators and YouTubers say exactly that, that these don't work. Just another snake oil scam. They're ineffective. Celebrities are getting paid to talk about it. And it's just overall a big scam. Now, I've been using Aries products for quite some time. So when I saw one specific YouTuber talk about this, I had to watch the video, mainly because I actually subscribed to this YouTuber. And to my surprise, there was little to no research in that video, which is unfortunate considering the amount of following that this particular creator has. I mean, I know me personally, I like to do my research, especially when it comes to talking about brands or people themselves. And you're probably thinking like, Tony, what do you know? What did you have like the founder of Aries Tech on your podcast? Yes, yes I did. So in this video, we're gonna debunk a few of the claims that Linus in particular talked about on his channel. So let's get into it. Now I should say this video won't be about EMF exposure per se. Not only is that going to bore you probably, but I've actually done EMF exposure videos relating to Aries Tech and just some of the research that I found. So you can either check that video out. I'll link it down in the description below. Or if you just want to do your own research, come back to this video. We could talk a little bit more about the actual Aries Tech products because this is going to be kind of a niche video. It's going to debunk a debunk video. It's going to rebut some rebuttals from Linus Tech's tips. And the only reason I'm using Linus as an example here is A, like I said, I subscribe to his videos and I think they're relatively overall entertaining. I get a lot of value at some of the stuff that he does. But now that he's accumulated uh, a following of over 16 million subscribers here on YouTube, I think with that type of following, similar to Mr. Beast and some of the other big names, you have a little bit of a responsibility whether you like it or not. And that responsibility is doing your research. You have to think to yourself when it comes to any type of product and if someone's reviewing it, who knows more about that product? The reviewer or the company. Usually it's the company, unless you get a reviewer that has spent months and years researching one specific product. So it's kind of hard to take one product and just squish it into a couple minutes of a video, reviewing the entire thing without actually A, talking to the brand or business, or B, actually doing the research that it requires. Especially if they were actually really concerned that this was a scam, you would think they would actually reach out to the company. Oh, no, wait, actually, Linus said he did that. So <laughs> I gotta admit, that was pretty funny, but also very incorrect. See, I've called Aries Tech customer service before. They're not gonna give you that type of answer because that's some vocabulary a neuroscientist would give you. And even if they were smart enough to have that vocabulary on the customer service line, I'm sure they're instructed to not talk like that to the consumer because unless it's Albert Einstein, we probably don't understand that information. Okay, so now going back to Linus's video. So that was just like the start of the video which already I kind of knew that he was just really having fun with this thing. And there wasn't going to be a whole lot of research behind it. A lot of YouTubers, including myself, do most videos for entertainment. And that's okay, not necessarily education. But this is why I wanted to really do this video and go through these individual claims. Everything from the cheap EMF scanner that he bought at Home Depot to slicing up the Aries Tech products and looking inside of it, it was all very entertaining. But if you did watch the video, it lacks one key component, which is explaining exactly what these products do. See, he talks a lot about EMF blockers and they've said on their website that this is not an EMF blocker. Now, what does it actually do? I'm not intelligent enough to explain it to you. So this is why I talked to the founder of the company so we could figure it out. And if you're thinking to yourself, why didn't Linus just reach out to the founder of the company? That's a great question because I don't have a big following and I was able to get a hold of them in a few days. And I knew that you wouldn't really care about me with a few thousand subscribers. I'm sure you would rather hear it from an expert. And now that I think about it, he's been a lot of the video talking about these EMF rooms. Hmm. Interesting. When I talked to Dimitri, the founder of Aries Tech, he even said they tried to reach out to Linus after he made this video. Here's what he said. I wish he would respond to us and we would pay for his time, for his people, for his video. We'll pay for everything. We just want to show up there, grab him, bring a independent EEG operator, yeah. a doctor, set it up, get his cameras live, stream it to YouTube. Let's do it. And look, man, I am no expert by any means, but neither is Linus or you. But as someone who actually uses these Aries tech products, so I wanted to find out if I was getting scammed or not. Well, Linus, I hate to tell you, bud, but I think you're wrong on this one. Again, if you haven't seen the video, let's break down the six claims that Linus talks about. I do not have a six figure budget like him, so this will not be as an exciting video, but I promise wait to the end after we debunk these claims and I bet it's going to be worth it. So claim number one, Linus says that the device does not block RF signals. So 
it's ineffective. And this is where it gets weird. That's actually not the purpose of Ares technology. It's, it needs to be laboratory equipment and diagnostic. And mm -hmm. we have tremendous amount of research already done, published, some of them peer reviewed. And we do this live demos all the time and people see how it works real time. During all these stages, no one came up with a EMF meter. So claim number two, Linus simply states that the technology explanation provided by Ares is incomprehensible and intentionally vague. And again, we kind of talked about this, but we realized that that's not a customer service rep he was talking to. The founder of the company and their whole social media team that actually told me, Linus didn't reach out to any of them. And according to Michaela, and I asked her today, did you do it? She's saying yes on every single platform that I could get in hold of him. I offered him that and we waited. And said that they would pay for an on-site analysis of all their products and even go live here on YouTube. So I'm gonna mention it towards the end of the video, but if you wanna see something like that, tag Aries Tech and Linus Tech Tips, and maybe we can get that live going, because I, I personally would love to see that. Claim number three, Linus says that Aries Tech relies on pseudoscience and unproven claims. And we're gonna get back to Dimitri, but this is also another thing where I've actually done a lot of research before I even bought these products, including some of the things they've done with the UFC, as well as some other neuroscientists, where these tests that are getting performed, you can't just use a RF meter, because that's not how the technology works. If you look at the video, he shows our science page for less than a second and then it scrolls down and like and i know where to look and i created that page and <laughs> i couldn't see it okay claim number four patents are only industrial design patents and functional patents are found in russia oh russia yeah it's not russia well let's see if that's actually a false claim that he made too if you go to our technology page the very first and the biggest thing is you see the ipo patent which is international patent. us canada european union and another 30 countries in this package this product is canadian product i live in canada since yeah. child Okay, claim number five out of six. He claims that the materials and build quality are underwhelming and don't justify the price. I got a few Ares Tech products. These things are built with some pretty good looking tech. And as a society that spends $8 on a cup of coffee, come on. Because it's a passive resonator. Okay, here is an example. What is this? If this is a chip, where is the power supply? It's a passive chip. It doesn't require a power supply. It mm. gets powered by the EMF. If you remove our product from your device and put it in an iron box, it doesn't work. There's nothing happening. Claim number six, the health risks of RF radiation are overstated and non-ionizing radiation is safe. And I'm gonna stop you right there before I go to the expert, Dimitri here. I'm a father. I've done my research when it comes to EMF exposure, especially from a guy that has these Ray-Ban meta glasses, tons of tech around me, Wi-Fi routers, all this stuff is bad. How bad is it? We're never going to know because there's not a company that's going to invest millions and millions of dollars testing multiple human beings over the course of 20 years. So again, if you're telling me that there's even a small chance that this little guy or this little guy can protect me even a little bit. I'm open for it. The evidence that electromagnetic radiation is harmful are overwhelming. And here is what this gentleman forget to mention. Radiation has an accumulative effect. I can put you near like Fukushima or Chernobyl or any other radioactive zone. And guess what? You're not gonna die if you right. stay there for an hour. But yeah. if you stay there for a week, it's another problem. And I'm not saying you should get these products because they are expensive. It's definitely a want, not really a need. But I think as technology continues to advance, and we get more and more devices, I think we have to be aware of the damage that this stuff can cause. And it seems like Ares Tech is doing a good job, not just doing the research, but educating us on how we can actually combat this. Now, I wanna reiterate, you should not believe me. You should not believe Linus. I mean, hell, even if you don't wanna believe the founder of Ares Tech, that's okay too. I would just say that when it comes to anything on the internet, and I'm trying to get better at this every single day, just do your own research. Because as a creator myself, I make a living off working with people and brands collaborating together. Sometimes they get paid, sometimes I don't. And even when you see down here the little affiliate links, I'm not even affiliated with most of those brands. Because even you, if you're not a content creator, you can go on various websites and sign up for affiliate programs. Every time you leave a link, you'll get a commission 
creation as well. You don't necessarily have to be affiliated with that company. But as a creator, I know that whether it's a, a thousand people or 16 million people that watch my videos, I do have a little bit of responsibility and that's to try to be as honest as I can and do a lot of research. And I feel that Linus really didn't do that. And I don't know if I did all the research I could, but as I grow as a creative, I'm gonna continue to get better. And I would just encourage you to do your own research as well before you jump to any conclusions. Maybe Linus was just trying to duck out a quick video real quick and trust me, it was very entertaining and I actually really enjoyed it. But Dimitri on numerous occasions told me as well as their social media team, they are more than happy to pay for an entire production setup for Linus and Aries Tech to get together and do a live YouTube video showcasing how these products actually work, which would obviously debunk a lot of the claims that Linus said in his video. If you want to see that in the comments below, tag Linus Tech Tips and Aries Tech. Hopefully they'll get hold of it. And I know Linus is busy. Maybe he'll end up actually doing this. Maybe he won't. Whether it's a person you're talking about or a brand, when you have a big following, there might be repercussions. Maybe that person can never get work again. Maybe that brand goes out of business. Like you have to be careful with this type of stuff, which is why I wanted to do this rebuttal video. So I hope it was value to you. I know I enjoyed talking to Dimitri. That was the first time I talked to him and he's a really cool guy and just an incredible story. And uh, I'm actually gonna create a podcast episode where you can see the entire conversation. I don't know if it's gonna be before or after I post this video, but just stay tuned to the podcast. But as always, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your time. And if you dug it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you later. Stay healthy humans.